Hi, Laura. It's so nice to meet you. Um, Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining me for a conversation uh, about the Metro Silver Linings Project. I had a couple of questions about your piece. Let's start off with, um, what have been some silver linings for you during this last year? I actually have a few of them. I think that definitely working on this project with the Metro has definitely been one of my favorite silver linings. Um, and then you know, when all of this started, uh, my family didn't know how to make sourdough bread or oat milk or even tamales. And those are all things that that we learned how to do during these times. What about you, Stephanie? What have been some of your favorite silver linings during this time? So definitely making a piece for Metro to uplift our communities on their ridership. I can just imagine how difficult it must be uh, to to commute back and forth and, and to struggle with, you know, the, the, or just the fear of, of possibly getting sick. And so it's been an honor to, to put together a piece for Metro to, to get people outside of that headspace uh, during this time. Another silver lining that I've had is virtual programming. Um, I work for a nonprofit organization and, you know, I'm thinking of, programming and how to continue to serve people, I think having more access to events virtually has really been a great way to approach serving people and um, creating positive change. It's been great to be able to attend, for example, uh, a print fair across the world um, from the comfort of my own home and not to have to dress up for it. So. <laughs> what are your points of inspiration for the artwork? One of the approaches that I included in the artwork was the idea of traveling from the east side. I'm from the east side of Los Angeles, specifically Boyle Heights, to other parts of the city. And so within my piece, I included different architectural icons that show the journey from either east to west or east to south, but also just the interconnectivity of people, considering that we've been asked to social distance at this time. I have really have felt how connected we are, not only to people, but also the desire to be around nature. And so that's why I included a lot of flowers in my piece. It was inspired by my grandmother's garden. And I thought, what is a way to create a vibrant LA by including things that are important to me, specifically the flowers traveling from you know one place to another, and then also the people who are really important in keeping the city thriving and surviving, and that includes all essential workers, such as maintenance people, delivery people. So that for me has been really important in, to highlight in the work, and it's what inspired my imagery. How about you? What inspired your Silver Linings piece? I remember just not being able to understand people when they were speaking, and I remember they couldn't understand me, and so I had to learn to adjust my voice and, uh, and just speak louder and also just really enunciate my words. And then I remember that one day I had actually gone over to take some dinner to my, my neighbor who's 97 years old. And she did just recently pass, unfortunately. But uh, she was hard of hearing and it just didn't matter how loud I spoke. She just couldn't hear anything that I was saying. And I was trying to tell her how much I missed her and how much I loved her and she just couldn't hear my voice, but I knew that she could see and feel my love. It was like the next day and my daughter, who's a nurse, uh, she stopped by with some food. She was bringing us dinner. She was wearing her two masks and it was like a repeat of the day before. I, I couldn't hear what she was saying, um, but I could see and feel her love. And, and that's really um, how Unmask Your Heart was inspired. You know, the idea of showing light that's within us and showing that gesture of love and kindness um, with those that are around you. It's just such an invaluable um, thing, especially during these times. Uh, you know, we have such a positive impact on those around us. So I think it was just, um, it was important to show that. Yeah, I agree with you. I also believe that it's, it's really changed how we um, show how we care about others. And so for me personally, Wearing a mask around people when I go grocery shopping is really my showing how I'm trying to be responsible and to care for the people around me. 